Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk about how single men are lonelier than single women. And before one of you runs to Google to tell me that men and women report feeling lonely about equally as much, which is true, I want you to also run back to Google and Google suicide rates, male versus female. You'll quickly find out that men are four times more likely to commit suicide than women, which means you guys are feeling a little bit more lonely. So I just want to point that out before you run on here and say something. Now, there's a reason why um, men tend to feel more lonely, more isolated than women. It's because women get the majority of their emotional support from female family and friends. Um, men on the flip side tend to get the majority of their emotional support from romantic partners, which means if you're single as a man, you're not getting any emotional support, which means you're more likely to feel lonelier than women. Um, unfortunately, this is, and I know you love when I say this, this is because of patriarchy and sexism. Uh, men are not allowed to build friendships, platonic male friendships, that, I, that allow emotional vulnerability. Um, it's just not a manly thing to do. And as much as you guys want to blame women for that, that's just all men. Men don't let their friends be emotional, you know, vulnerable with them. And I'm not saying all men, so don't run on here and say, I support my friends. Some of you do. A lot of men have emotionally evolved and have emotional intelligence and now are supporting their male friends, but this is a new thing. Um, before, men weren't allowed to do that because of patriarchy. So now you have this situation where especially older men are feeling very lonely, feeling very isolated, having no friends, having no romantic partners, so they're all alone, and now the loneliness, loneliness epidemic is getting bigger. So how do we correct it? Well, we can't. Women can't correct this. This is a, it's a male issue. Just wanted to point out that women, we support each other. We are there for each other. In fact, what's really crazy is that if a woman who is married gets sick, she's more likely to be supported by her friends and family than her husband. And it, it's even crazier if she becomes terminally ill. I think it's, it's like some crazy number, like 11 to 20% of women who become terminally ill their husbands will divorce them, where it's on the flip side, I think it's like 2% if a man becomes terminally ill, that the woman will divorce them. It's really sad that these things, such as sexism and patriarchy, have these types of effects on how people behave, but they do. That's why it's important to know how sexism and patriarchy is affecting you. If you're a guy, you're feeling very lonely and you're single and you don't understand why you're so lonely and you can't talk to your friends about it, blame patriarchy. Try to dismantle that. Try to make things better. Try to raise boys to support their male friends. Try to raise boys to allow their male friends to be vulnerable, vulnerable with them. These things are really, really important. Anyway, wanted to share that. Hope you all are doing well, and uh, yeah.